petitioners have presented a number of arguments uh, in support of their claims that the, the question contains a variety of uh, errors and omissions. And in effect, the, the basic claim is the question is misleading because uh, they, they believe that it could mislead a voter of common intelligence as to the meaning and effect of the amendment. There are concerns raised about the, the portion of the question that relates to uh, the requirements that would apply to individuals who do not vote in person. Is this being paid for? Is this being done pro bono? Um, is the legislature going to be paying Winthrop and Weinstein to do this? litigation? Uh, the fee involved uh, is $18,000 and includes the motion papers uh, attendant to the motion to intervene and the brief and accompanying arguments. It's limited solely to that. Before we spend $18,000 and before we take this unprecedented step, I want to understand exactly what uh, the legislature's argument is going to be because I don't think, uh, I do think it was within the court's jurisdiction to look at whether something is misleading or not. And this is not saying that when you say exclusive constitutional authority, this could be saying that we're going to be making a very different argument than that. Your argument gives weight to the idea that we do have standing because the legislature took a very strong position and now we're subjecting the legislature's strong position to court review. And so I would think as a legislator, who intends to go further in his legislative career, you would want to support the idea that when the legislature takes a strong position, we do have an inherent right to stand before the court and affirm that position.